Here's another way that you can reduce the clutter in Evernote and find the things that you have saved. I'm Dave Edwards. Today, we look at how to merge notes in Evernote. Many Evernote users like me are interested in reducing the clutter in their system. Here's an example. I'm always researching and clipping articles for destinations I might want to visit on vacation. I, I make extensive use of the Evernote clipper to grab articles that I might find that I want to refer to later. The problem is that over time, I might collect, I don't know, 20 or 30 more articles in Australia or maybe Sweden or wherever. Now, that's a lot of notes to, to just randomly appear in Evernote. What I want is one note that will include all of my research so that I can read it later, highlight it, or remove elements. And there is a way, because you can merge all of your notes. So let me show you how to do it. All you have to do is go to whatever folder or ever stack you have collected all of your random notes and hold down Control on Windows or Command on Mac, and then, Click on the notes you would like to merge. Now, on the very bottom of your screen, you're going to see that we've selected three notes, and it's giving me a couple of options here. You want to go to this double arrow, if you will, and uh, you see it's asking us if we, in fact, want to merge. So what we'll do is we will click on it, and now it asks us, what do we want to name this combined note? So uh, let's just say we want to call this combined productivity note. I mean, you could call it, you know, uh, Italy information or anything else like that. Now it's going to say that it, it's going to merge those three, but the next thing it's hinting at is whether or not you want to reorder or remove them from your list. So let's say I really want to move the this article first in the merged uh, new note. So I just drag it onto the top. And now that note will appear first in the merged notes. The note marked YouTube calendar will, uh, will appear second. And then that's followed by blog calendar. As for uh, advanced options, you can uh, select keep copy of the original notes. In other words, it will uh, merge all of your notes together, but it will also keep them separate if you want. If you click on this button, it will separate the merged content with a divider line. That to me is very, very helpful because you know where one note begins and one ends. And the other option is to include the note titles in the merged content. Again, another very, very helpful um, uh, thing to do because uh, you will know uh, where the article comes from. So we've selected these two. You could select one, you could select three, you could select none, I suppose. And then you merge them. And as you can see, now they have merged into combined productivity note. And here's the first article, the second article, and the third article. And that's how you merge notes in Evernote. If you have any questions about how to use Evernote, send me an email. I'll try to get you an answer. Just email me at daveedwards at outlook.com. Plus, if you want to learn even more about the best ways to use Evernote as part of your productivity system, I would suggest that you check out my course, Evernote for Beginners. It's really a course aimed at anyone who wants to do a better job of using Evernote. Yeah, if you're relatively new to Evernote, you know that it can be a little bit overwhelming with learning how to set up tags and um, connecting with your calendar and things like that. And, and the course, in fact, does walk you through all those steps. But I've also designed the course to give even those of us who've been using Evernote some for some time uh, the opportunity to learn even more how best to set up Evernote uh, to be your number one productivity or your only 
productivity system. So check out the course. I know you won't regret it. I've been getting great feedback from people who have subscribed. The course is called Evernote for Beginners. To find out more, go to daveedwardsmedia.com and click on courses.